Welcome back everyone. In the previous few videos, we've had a look at the use query hook for data fetching. You might have noticed that the get request is fired as soon as the component mounts or if we focus the window. So if you navigate to our queue superheroes, the data is fetched and displayed. However, depending on the requirement, we might have to fetch the data based on a user event and not when the component mounts. So in this video, let's learn how to fetch data using use query, but only on click of a button. There are two steps that we need to implement. The first step is to inform use query not to fire the get request when the component mounts. We do that by passing in a configuration called enabled and setting it to false. So if you now go back to the browser, refresh, navigate to RQ superheroes, we don't see the list of heroes. We add query does track the query in DevTools, but its data is empty. So step one, disable fetching on mount using the enabled flag. Step two, we fetch the data on click of a button. Let's begin by adding a button in the JSX. So button, the text is fetch heroes and on click of the button, we need to fetch the heroes. Now the question is, how do we do that? Well, it is easier than you think it might be. Use query returns a function called refetch to manually trigger the query. All we have to do is pass it in as the onclick handler. If we now go back to the browser, refresh and we don't see the list of superheroes, Click on fetch heroes and we now see the list. It is as simple as that. Of course, the query cache and stale time still play the same role. On first request, is loading is true and we see the loading spinner. On subsequent requests, only is fetching is true because of the background refetching that takes place. If you have a refresh data button, you might want to consider using the is fetching flag as well to display the loading indicator. So if is loading or is fetching, display the loading text. Now, anytime we click the fetch heroes button, we see the loading text. Fetching data on click of a button is a pretty common scenario in any application. I hope you now know how to do it with React Query. Destructure, refetch, and use it as the handler for the action. Of course, click event is just an example, but the same pattern holds good for any event. In the next video, let's understand a few important points when it comes to refetching with use query. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.